Ja, hi there, this is uh, TuxAuche.com again. Welcome on my video channel. A couple of days ago, an entry in, I guess, social media or something else, or an RSS feed attracted my attention that was about a small Windows 11 installation, which only needed around 15 gigabytes of disk space, which seems to be very interesting. So I went further and uh, downloaded the ISO image, but uh, of course the uh, ISO image download took quite a while because I guess this uh, server isn't connected to fast internet. So it took uh, around more than two hours, which is uh, pretty unusual for an ISO image of around yeah three gigabyte in total. When I uh, got the ISO image, I prepared everything to install this uh, small or tiny Windows 11 on my desktop PC. You can, as you can see here in the background, everything is prepared for installation on a regular system. So we just go over to the desktop PC and have a look on the installation process of Tiny 11. Okay, we got uh, the boot menu of the uh, UEFI BIOS in, uh, on my computer. And I already uh, plugged in a USB flash drive so we can boot from this USB flash drive. As you can see, that is uh, the Ventoy tool which I already made a blog post on. And now we go down. And here I got the uh, ISO image of Tiny11. And okay, we boot that. And now we probably get into the uh, setup menu of Windows 11. Okay, that's the uh, setup. Okay, that's the uh, setup for language and so on, time and currency format. And the uh, keyboard, we can uh, skip that because you can't choose any other keyboard, which might be interesting if you live like I do here in Germany, you want to select a German keyboard layout, but you can install it later on on the Tiny 11. Okay, we go to next. Of course, we accept the uh, license agreement. Okay, here I could, or, could, or of course, I could uh, portion the um, drive here, but I just used the uh, unallocated space. That's way too much, I know, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Okay, now Windows 11 starts to copy the files. Maybe we speed up the uh, video a little bit here. Okay, now we're installing features and then searching for updates for this uh, Windows uh, version. And now we want to reboot uh, the system for the first time. We are restarting the new system. Okay, that looks good. I think it's uh, probably starting the new system for the first time. Made a dual boot record, but uh, boots the uh, Tiny11 as default. Okay, that's the uh, next restart the installation routine does. Because I, since I have a working system on this uh, PC, it automatically installed a second uh, boot menu for the, those two versions of Windows 11. Okay, we can choose the uh, right region we're living in. Okay, we try to choose the uh, right keyboard layout. No, we skip that. We don't want to have a second layout. Now he checks for updates again. Okay, we just fill in the uh, username, which is login. Type in a password. Okay, have to confirm that. And then those dumb questions. But you see, there is no questionnaire about a Microsoft account, which is pretty good, I think. Now we have those uh, tracking questions. I fill them in all for no, even though I know that uh, Microsoft keeps tracking me. Well, it's not really okay, but if you want to use Windows 11, I guess you have to accept that. Okay, I think that's a third or fourth time checking for updates. I speed that up a little bit in the video too. 
Okay, now we finished with the install. Let's take a look on how much this installation will use. Okay, I could have uh, pulled out the uh, boot stick. If I go here to properties, you see that it's uh, almost 28 gigabyte occupied on space, but if we go to a shell, This will delete the uh, swap file or the. Okay, we're down to uh, 15 gigabyte installation, and that's uh, quite low installation. And if you can reduce it even further, if you delete the swap file, if you have enough uh, memory, like I do here in this uh, desktop PC, which is equipped with uh, 32 megabyte of RAM. As you could see, I installed it on a regular PC where I already have a running Windows 11 installation. And uh, this installation only got uh, 15 gigabyte of disk space in usage, even though I used the whole portion for this. But uh, you can portion as you like and take a small portion like 50 or 60 gigabyte, depending on the apps you would uh, install in this uh, tiny Windows 11 installation. And if you um, power off the uh, Hibernate and the swap file, you might as well go below 10 gigabytes in total for this Windows 11 installation, which is based on the H211 update uh, state, which is quite impressive. This uh, might be quite a good uh, ISO image for installing on a, a smaller desktop with a smaller a uh, hard drive or SSD drive, or especially on a virtual machine like with Hyper-V or so on, where you only install the Windows 11 to check out one program or so on and so on. The um, Windows 11 or the Tiny 11 installation is not restricted. You can add uh, more languages, more keyboard layouts. You can add features like uh, Sandbox or Hyper-V and so on. So it only didn't install the, yeah, I say, bloat software, which uh, comes with uh, Microsoft's uh, operating system as every time. What's quite impressive is that you get an installation without getting forced to using a Microsoft account. That's quite good. And so you can install it on a smaller PC or virtual machine, as I mentioned. But for a legal use, of course, you have to have a valid license key. The Windows 11 installation in this case is not activated at all. So you have to add a license key later on in the process. Okay, that was my little review on Tiny Level, a quite impressive tiny installation of Windows 11. If you have any questions to this, you might as well place them in the comments of this uh, video or place them in the comments of the uh, corresponding blog post. And if you think this uh, video was a little bit helpful for you, you might think about placing a like on this video. And uh, even more important, please subscribe my channel, but don't then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was all from me for today. And all I have to say, till the next time, ciao, tux ochre.